everyone, today I'm going to show you how to easily rescreen your window or door and go from this to that. And before we get started, I just want to show you the comparison. On the left hand side is a new panel that I just replaced. On the right hand side is a panel that needs to be replaced. And as you can see, the old panel has these streaks that are especially visible in the sun. What happens over time is the material disintegrates, the fibers separate, and it just doesn't look as crisp. And second of all, with kids playing around, balls being thrown, frisbees being thrown and whatnot, eventually you develop these holes. So these nets need to be replaced every couple of years. And these are the tools needed for this job. You need a flathead screwdriver, a window screen repair tool, some sort of a blade and a spline. Now this is optional if your original spline is brittle, but a lot of times you can simply reuse your original spline. And of course you're gonna need your replacement net based on the width of your window. I'm going to link all the products down in the description of this video. It is important to have a flat surface to get this job done. For me, my patio furniture works extremely well. And the first thing is removing the old spline. And usually the spline has a beginning and the end. So what you want to do is you want to find the beginning, pry it with a screwdriver and simply pull it along the side so it all comes out. Next, using your fingers from the back, you simply pop out the old net. Having the net off is a perfect opportunity to clean the frame. Usually you can't really get deep in there without worrying about uh, damaging the net. In this case, uh, there's nothing inside. So what I typically do is I take my magic eraser. I'm gonna link it in the description also. What this does, this removes any rough stains uh, from any surface out there. It works on metal, it also works on leather. Next is you take your screen. Now, screen comes in different widths. My windows, for the most part, are 36 inches, although I do have a couple of 48 inch wide windows that I'm going to be rescreening. So what I did was I got 100 feet of this 48 inch uh, screen, and I'm just gonna trim a lot of excess on these 36 inches. So you just simply put it on top and roll it out. You obviously wanna leave just a bit of excess. Then you grab your knife and simply cut along the edge, leaving just enough excess. The next step is you obviously want to properly align the net. You want it to be as straight as possible so it looks as professional as possible when it's back on the window. After ensuring the screen is properly aligned, you take your spline, either the one that you're going to be reusing or the new one that you purchased, and simply start inserting it into the corner and then use the tool to guide it in place. Now the tool has two different sides. One side has a little bevel that guides the spline in and the second one is one that allows you to push it into these tight to reach areas. And what you want to do is you want to apply even pressure onto the spline and what this does, this tucks the screen in. Uh, as long as it's properly aligned, you are fine. What you're gonna do is you're gonna worry about the stretch on the other side. So for this one, for the first edge, you wanna make sure that it's as even as possible. And when you get to the corner, you simply turn it around and now you give it a bit of a stretch and continue pushing. With the first two sides being done, uh, side three and side four are the most important ones is because you have to make sure you have just enough stretch on it so it doesn't appear loose, but also so it's not too stretched. What's important to know is that this spline actually does stretch the fabric a little bit because as it goes in, it pulls in from both sides. So you don't want it to be stretched too much, but you also don't want it to be too loose. And on this edge, you can actually break the corner just a tiny bit so it allows for a constant stretch and you don't have to have someone else holding uh, it or you don't have to use a clamp. And just like before, we'll continue to wheel this guy in. As I'm pulling it in, the net keeps getting stretched from both sides. If you do make a mistake, you can easily take it out. And for example, you can pull it again. If you're not comfortable with it, you can pull it again 
let's say pull it like that pull it again this was me recovering from a lack of stretch and you can simply just go back in and the net will stretch itself And as you get to the corner, you flip it. Make sure this side is as stretched as you want it to be. And again, push it in and start gliding. At the very end, obviously you have some excess. So what you wanna do is you wanna push it gently with a screwdriver and then use a blade to cut the excess. You also want to check the corners to see if the corners are situated properly. You can use either your screwdriver or in that, in that case I'm using something sharp to, uh, to make sure it sits in as deep as we want it to be. And the last part of the process is trimming. Now, don't be tempted to just go along the edge and trim like this because two things might happen you might not get close enough to the border and you might actually damage the net on the inside. What you want to do is you want to get in with the blade from the, out, from the inside going outside and just cut along the edge of the spline facing away from the net that's sitting already on the window and just keep cutting until you get to the other side. And just like that, we're able to rescreen our window. And as you can tell, everything is nice and tight. I don't know if the camera is gonna pick it up. There's, there are no loose areas or anything like that. Uh, the spline is sitting perfectly. The last thing for us to do is to install it back on the window. And for now, we are done. I want to thank you very much for watching. Let me know if you like these types of videos. I do home improvements all the time. So if you want more videos like that, uh, give me a comment down below and tell me what you would maybe request or if you want more of these videos. If you like this video, consider giving me a thumbs up, maybe consider subscribing. And as always, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.